Hello and welcome to the Sound Test Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Kamata, available as an in-app purchase inside Korg's gadget. It's new and it's awesome. Not only does it look really cool with this gamer interface, but it also sounds cool. Simply tap the screen to get into the synthesizer. Before we begin, let's double tap and open up the gadget in a bigger window. So let's start at the top. As you can see, you have a 1-up and a high score here. Every time you press a key, you actually get 10 points, which is cool. Now, it doesn't actually do something. Now, I'm a real nerd, so of course I had to try it and see what happens when you move past the high score. And so I did. I went up to 100,000 points and nothing really happened. So now you know at least. Inside the wave bank, you can find a lot of pre-made waveforms. There are actually 96 waveforms stored in here. But if those doesn't tickle your fancy, you can always draw your own. Now to select a wave, you simply tap on it. Basic sine wave. Square wave. To open up a waveform in a bigger window so that you can edit it, you just double tap it. Right beside the wave bank selector, you have a detune option. This is awesome for those really fat sounds. And you simply tap this option to cycle through the different modes. You also have a noise option. Just tap it to turn it off or on. And the sound changes depending on what type of waveform you're using. Now drawing in your own waveforms is very easy and it's also fun. Now before moving into the synthesizer, let's have a look at these options right here. Here you can find your preset browser and there are already 87 presets inside here. Of course you can save your own and when you save your own they end up in the user folder. You can also cycle through presets using these two buttons here. Right beneath it you got a master volume control and then we have two interesting options right here. And you'll understand what this knob does as soon as we get into the synthesizer part. And this yellow button switches between the waveform page and the actual synthesizer editing window. For the next part, I'm just gonna choose the square waveform and switch the page. Now, when in this mode, editing these values, this is where the value knob comes in. You simply tap a value you wanna change and then you use the knob here. Now, you can change it using your finger like this, but you'll get a more accurate control when using the knob. And let's decode what all of this is. This is the amplifier envelope. You have your attack, Next, we have the decay, and to really hear it, we need to pull down the sustain level. And the release. Very straightforward. Beneath it, we have the pitch envelope. This is basically an envelope controlling the pitch of the oscillator. So you have your attack, your decay, and release. Now, the values up here are tied into the values down here. And to be able to hear the pitch envelope, you have to change the value on the pitch start level. And you can do this in positive mode and negative mode. And this is great for making bass drums. Just put the pitch envelope really high, pull down on the sustain, up on the decay. I absolutely love this. Now to set a value to its default mode, you simply tap and hold. Beneath it, you have a delay and a reverb. And these actually works like old fashioned MIDI delays or MIDI reverbs. Now looking at the right side, you have two LFOs, one for the amplifier and one for the pitch. Beneath the LFOs, you have the keyboard play modes. You can set Kamata to play in poly mode. Or in monophonic mode. 
and the time option increases the portamento. And lastly, beneath the play mode, control options for modulation wheel and pitch bend. Great for when you're using MIDI keyboard controllers. Now, of course, Kamata can be used with the scale mode, the built-in arpeggiator, and also chord mode. But you have to remember to turn on the poly option before using the chord mode. Remember that you can modulate anything inside Gadget. And for Kamata, you've got loads of modulation options. Well, there you have it, Kamata for Korg Gadget. Korg Gadget is at half price at the moment, so if you want it, now might be the right time to go get it. I always put an app link down in the description. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Yoko Back at SouthDistroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.